time. Let's do it up. All right, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? We got He Bohabwa versus Bakasura. The Reach. Now, I have finally got Hebo through after about like six years of trying. And I'm very happy about it. This matchup should be a Hebo win. Problem is, I don't really know how to play Hebo well. At all. I am probably the worst Hebo you'll ever meet. Um, that is not true. There are some really bad players out there. But amongst, you know, masters, uh, you know, grandmasters of the players, you would think. I'd have a pretty decent Hebo, and I don't. I just never play him. My Chronos is probably better than my Hebo. But with that introduction, it's time for a hype game. Where is he? Oh, he's just, just like doing a buff. He's starting out at a buff. That's really good, because sometimes you want to go over to the red buff, because on certain characters like Bakasura, people like to just go and... Oh, I hate my life. I like to just go and do start your buff. <laughs> oh my god. Not a good look for my man starting out. He just... Past that tower line by a tiny bit, and it cost him everything. It's a really bad look. Uh, and Reach is like he's a pretty good Bakasura. You know, he's got Bakasura rank like 20. And, oh man, he just that was just positional error. He. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good way for me to start because I'm not very confident in this character, so I like that. I'm gonna go for this and then go into a breastplate. Well, actually, I'll probably go Warlocks first here. That's the thing. I'm not too sure if you should go Warlocks or not. I think though, right? I know a lot of people like to go with double defense on Hebo, um, but in Tabakasura, the defense usually isn't that helpful. But then again, health isn't usually that helpful either because he'll go chin size, but it's still, you know, it's still better to have it than to not. Whoa! Oh, oh. Damn, son. Wow, he almost died and he used his Sunder. That's awesome. He wouldn't even kill me if he hit his Sunder. I'm only this low because I tank creeps afterward. I think at least, right? Could be wrong. But yeah, as you can see, Hebo's ult is such a great counter to Bakasura's ult. It takes out all the minions at once, gets him away, gives him immunity as well. Oh, he has rank 30 Bakasura actually, that's right. But yeah, I've never played this matchup, so this is new to me. I'm discovering as I go along. It's very difficult for Boxer, <laughs> especially starting out like this. Though you have to. Hey, Mr. Dorkable, thank you so much. Game? Yes, Lesson. everybody's been requesting welcome. You helped me get into D5 when I finished last season in Gold 2. Oh my God, thank you so much. I'm so glad to hear that. Those messages are the best and so encouraging. I love you, man. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Try to get the best damn Vulcan I can muster. We got a couple of requests right now, though, so I'll just try to... Hopefully, we can get to it tonight still. Yeah, there should definitely be a chance. Alright, so we're heading on over to Warlocks. Vil. He's going into, um, you know, Silver Ranch. And maybe he should have just picked up a Tier 2 defense, though, to start out here. Maybe? I don't know. It's, it's kind of rough anywhere he goes from there. Generally, most Bacchus seem to like to go attack speed boots too, by the way. I never do it when I'm in, so that's why I make a note of when I'm in Bacchus, <laughs> because I forget to do it. I don't want to misinform people of what the current Bacchus build is. I accidentally went to the point in my 3 instead of saving the point for my ult, but I think that's fine. Using your 3 is shit ton anyway. He's probably at my blue right now. If he's at my blue, actually, really silly decision, because he missed a lot of the wave for that. Yeah, exactly. It seems super easy to this matchup. Like, it's it's kind of nice. I've never had a matchup against Baka where I felt this in control. I have so many like get out of jail free cards too. Hey, how do I fuck this up? Uh, famous last words. But... Anytime he jumps on me, I can just use my three. 
use my ult when he ults. My two is uh, both slow, Im uh, slow immune, speeds me up, and it slows him. Like, how do you beat that? He'd have to get up pretty early in the morning. Do you guys know that in the UK, you you can only there's some sort of custom that you're only supposed to do April Fool's jokes until 12 p.m. That's why when I learned this, I thought that I finally figured out where the saying you'd have to get up pretty early in the morning to pull the wool over my eyes. I thought that that came from the fact that in the UK you have to get up pretty early in the morning to pull an April Fool's joke. But no, most of my UK friends debunked it, said it's not true. Oh, <laughs> I love this. This is so fun. I didn't even do well in that engagement, but I'm still, <laughs> I'm still happy and I'm alive. A Bakasura just ulted me and I just walked away from it. Ah! Just kidding, I don't have to be even remotely scared. Look at me, I can miss all the abilities I'd like. Look at that, the carpet's still there. It's hilarious. Nope! Ah, 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 ah. Like, I know what the, the saying means, by the way, you know. You have to get up pretty early in the morning, meaning, like, you'd have to plan, like, or, or, I, it could mean two things, right? Either you had to plan all day to get me with this joke, or it meant that I'd have to be really sleepy or, like, asleep. You'd have to be up, and I'd be sleeping or sleepy. And, um, you know, but it, it always was weird. I feel like, who, who would think of that? Uh, that's a weird thing to say. So if it had any sort of context, I was going to be really pumped when I first heard of it. I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, that's it. And they're like, no, it's not it. So he's been getting every buff here. Uh, not every buff, uh, every blue buff. So he's been getting two buffs while I've been getting one. And that's the uh, reason that he's about even with me in experience, if not slightly ahead. Once I get some more CDR online here and pen, things can get really difficult for him. It's weird, he's just trading out. Not deciding to come over and, and try to contest this from me. This is his best point where he could go and contest I knew it! I had a feeling! But I still got it, bitch! What it is! Oh my god! Ah, ah, ah. You can just walk into Baka. I'm gonna start playing Hebo. Holy shit. You just walk into him. With the freedom of knowing that you can do whatever the fuck you like. You have about a million escapes. Either by knockup, or by two, or by ult. Or by killing him, because your damage is so high. Holy shit. Oh my god, imagine the tower. Uh-oh. <laughs> See you in a Uh-oh, he's probably got a Sunder here. But I've got a magical carpet! Ah, 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 ah. This is amazing. Alright, let's see. This has opened my eyes to a whole new world. I play him maybe three times a season. I'm gonna go Shield of Thorns. No, I'm gonna go Bracer. I've heard Bracer is broken on him. Because he has such little cooldowns. Uh, that he can just, you know, get his whole kit back up by using Bracer. And it's also good because Baka, you know, he bursts you so quickly. Uh, you can get that all right back. So, I'm pumped. Hope we make good use of it. The cooldown on his carpet is insane. This carpet is one of the most OP moves in the game. And yet it's on the lowest cooldown. Not the lowest, but, you know, very low cooldown. Look at that, he's already taken a quarter of his health just by coming in at me. And now, look, look at him! What does he do? Oh my god. This is hilarious. Is this up? No. This is without pen. I don't even have any pen yet. Did you go Spear the Magus on this guy? I don't know. I, I've got to tell you something, guys. I'm really uncomfortable with going Spear of the Magus. I've always gone Obsidian. You know, it's what I know. It's I love the item, too, because it gives you damage against towers. 
So I'm afraid of Spear of the Magus being better than Obsidian, and I really don't want it to be. So sometimes you'll see me go um, Obsidian when maybe Spear of the Magus is the better option. But it might it's only slightly anyway if it is. And it's always better the Obsidian against double defense. Uh, here he probably won't be going double defense though. Uh, so, you know, that raises the question. But he doesn't have tick damage, Hebo, but he has a lot of abilities that he keeps, you know, constantly, you know, just like recycling. So, I don't know how that works. The reason I'm afraid of it is because I don't know, <laughs> I've never used Spear of the Magus. Like, I, the whole time, I've been playing since Close Beta, and I've built it maybe twice. I just don't use that item. Certain items I just, I just stray from. That is one of them. I feel like it was a very divisive thing back in like season two you know either you're a spear of the magus guy or you were an obsidian guy you know it was like that's what defined us and now here we are today an obsidian guy trying to live in a magus guy's world so he's going into fatalis here finally gonna get it online what is he gonna do jump at me i'll use my three and kill you that's so funny, as long as I don't initiate with my three, he's in such a rough spot. Because he has to come in, and I will immediately be able to use my three to respond to that. It's crazy. There's so many things I can do. And we're going to take this out. Ooh, even the best claims that Obsidian Shard is better than uh, Spear in Conquest. So, there you have it. I win. <laughs> I win. I don't know what I'm going to go here, so I'm just going to go towards a rod. Hey, Wahooji, thank you so much for the two months. Hey, and this happens when I when I get to this fifth item slot, and I'm just like, ooh, I really don't know. Because I don't really want Poly. I'm not going to be applying that much, because I'm hitting from, you know, like really long range um, and I'm not always autoing afterwards uh, no. I gotta start thinking though hey I left this one guy here He's incredibly rude go soul reaver but I don't really think uh, I could go divine that's what, what my initial thought was but I don't think I need it but it, it could be good I mean it's extra pen and it is uh, good against his uh, his heal, but his heal is not that big of an issue. I'm just blowing him the fuck up. I don't need like Chronos Pendix. I'm gonna finish up my. Uh... Look at this. I'm gone. See you later. Yeah, cause I'm gonna go to the cooldown boots here. Whoa! Damn, he got both my actives though. I did not expect a blink. Shout out to that blink, that was good. Oh shit. Had that been a tier 2 Sunder, I would have killed them. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, think to uh, to level it. I definitely should have gone it there too, over a, uh, over a tier 1 loss artifact. It's Simply would have been the better choice. So that's on me. It's my bad. But at least he didn't kill us. He does get the red buff though, and that's a good win for him. Yeah, yeah. Poly after my three is is pretty easy to confirm. That's true. I was just thinking like I'm if I'm knocking him away, but so I'm mostly knocking him towards anyway. Right? Yeah, maybe I will go Poly. It's always good for objective damage too. But that's just blink on cooldown. I have my ult back up. <laughs> Slow him the fuck down. Look at that damage. Holy hell. Just in awe of this god. Ready to go for cooldown boots here. Definitely the play. Is this up? Nope. 
But yeah, I gotta commend him. He's been doing pretty well given such a terrible start. He must have been, you know, raging when when he when he killed himself into the tower there. Because knowing the matchup he's in and how much work he has ahead of him. Oh, oh sniped it. Oh my god, look how much damage he took. Holy crap. Oh, you know, maybe I could have gone like Gem of Iso. How's that? Can you do that on, on Hebo against a uh, Baka? I feel like that'd be so dirty. Can you do that? Every time I hit him with the three or the one, he slowed. But yeah, this god is so absurd that that's why I really didn't enjoy playing him in the early stages of, of duel. And he's always like this easy is the thing, you know? He might not always have the winning matchup, but like, you know, when things do go his way, it's just very simple and very easy for him. I don't like it as much. Oh shit, I should sell my hands of time so I can get this. Actually, ah, I don't even need to sell the hands of time. I should just wait. Uh. <laughs> and the silly thing is, actually, I realize I've done this a couple times now. I sold my, um, well, I have 10%, 20%. Oh, no, never mind. I have full cooldown anyway. All right, never mind. Don't, don't talk about it. Don't talk. <laughs> Forget it. It's a comment for a different video. All right, he might be at fire right now. I don't know how you But yeah, Bracer is really good on Hebo. Um, I was able to make decent use of it in that last engagement, but not really good enough. Not quite what I was looking for. Wow, we are swinging away at this thing. <laughs> I didn't hit all the creeps. I suck so badly at this guy. Okay, he's gonna blink, so we're trying to just get out of here. We laid out the carpet though in such a way that he wouldn't be able to uh, to just run straight towards us for, with the blink. So it looks like we're good. We're gonna go run all the way home though, just because we don't want him to blink kill us. Um, and I said I'd go poly here. I stand by it, damn it. I don't really need the tier 2 Bracer though. That's the only thing. Bracer, tier 2, I feel like, doesn't really ever... It's never a priority. It should be your last buy. Maybe even after a 500 pot sometimes, just because it's like... It's only... gives you two more seconds of, of the... Uh, of the heal. Mostly the Bracer is really strong for the cooldown reduction. Uh, the heal is really significant, but it's not a bigger heal. It's just like... I guess it's theoretically a bigger heal, but... It's not always that you're gonna get it, you know, exactly five seconds after. So, I don't know. Oh. And then Brace. <laughs> I love this guy. GG. Um, I definitely am not going to be playing much more Hebo, but from, you know, eh, it's, it's nice. It's nice to have that kind of matchup after, you know, fighting, playing as like Kepri versus uh, Ho Yees for the, for the day, let's say. <laughs> nice change of pace. GG.